Thank you so much for watching Landom Sea Goes There. Please subscribe and hit the like button and the bell notification button. Serpico is a 1973 biographical crime drama film that was directed by Sidney Lumet, and it stars Al Pacino in the lead role. The screenplay was done by Waldo Scott and Norman Wexler from a book of the same name that was written by Peter Moss. All of this with the assistance of its subject, Frank Serpico. The movie details Serpico's struggle with corruption within the New York City Police Department during his 11 years of service there, and also his work as a whistleblower that led to investigations of the department. Al Pacino stars as the cop who pays the price for trying to expose the corruption within the department. The movie was filmed and released between the original Godfather and The Godfather Part II, and it earned Pacino his second of eight Oscar nominations that he's received. Dino De Laurentiis bought the film rights after reading 20 pages of this originally written biography. The author, Peter Moss, had only written the first few pages in the book that starred Frank Serpico as its main character. But the producer was so intrigued by it, and he loved the concept enough that he paid close to $500,000 for the rights to the movie. Things could have looked a little bit different with Paul Newman and Robert Redford in this film. Originally, director Sam Peckinpah, who you'll remember from The Wild Bunch, had the first crack at working on the movie. Greg Dunn was originally approached to write the screenplay, but Dunn didn't think there was much of a story there to tell from the original book. With an idea floating around of Paul Newman playing NYPD detective David Dirk and Robert Redford playing Serpico, Peckinpah and Paul Newman had dinner to talk about the project. Peckinpah said he met with Redford and didn't like him at all, so that brought an end to this idea of him directing the film and these other actors playing in the starring roles. Pacino hung out with Serpico, the real Serpico, before filming started. He invited him to be his guest at his house that he had rented. But even though that they had spent time together and gotten to know each other, he was asked to stay away from the set. The recently retired cop set in on the script conferences and contributed ideas. But the crew, along with Pacino, thought that Serpico would be a distraction once it came time to start shooting. When the cop learned that he wasn't allowed on the set, his feelings were terribly hurt. The whole film was shot in reverse order, because Serpico gradually grew a thick beard and long hair. Pacino's hair and beard were trimmed before each scene. Filming began right after the 4th of July, so defoliated trees and visible breath had to be simulated for the winter scenes. There were a total of 107 speaking parts in the movie, and it was filmed in 104 locations. With the exception of Pacino, the director didn't want to use a lot of known actors for the movie. It was filmed in every New York City borough except for Staten Island. There were some differences between the movie and what happened in real life. Serpico carried a revolver, he lived on Perry Street, and was married three times. Pacino Serpico had a 9mm automatic, and he lived on Mineta Street. The real Serpico also claimed that his wardrobe was much better than that of Pacino's in the film. The New York City Police Department cooperated with the filmmakers on the project. The director shot in four fully operational station houses without any problems. The two officers that were assigned directly to the movie actively helped once they realized that the movie 
was going for authenticity. Pacino didn't seek out much help from them at all, though. Originally, he went out with some of the police officers one night, but that only lasted about five minutes before he threw in the towel. At one point, Pacino got so deep into his character that he tried to arrest someone. Being the method actor that he was, he would carry his emotions on off camera, staying happy or angry, depending on the scene. At one point while filming the movie, Pacino grew incensed when a truck was blowing its exhaust all over his face. He yelled at the truck driver to pull over because he was under arrest. He even pulled out his fake Serpico badge. He stated that he was going to put him under citizen's arrest. But then he realized what he was doing, and he quit, finally realizing how ridiculous he was. By the end of the shoot, the director was completely exhausted because they had started filming in July, and the film was scheduled for a Christmas opening. Lamette had an insanely short time to shoot Serpico. He states that this film wore him out more than any other movie he's done. And as a matter of fact, the film ended up debuting even earlier than they originally expected on December 5th, 1973. Serpico himself didn't actually see the movie in its entirety until about 2010. While he was watching Pacino on the verge of death in the film, the real Serpico looked away from the screen, unable to relive those experiences that he had had. The real Serpico has stated that during the early days of his employment with the police department, he helped deliver a baby somewhere in the slums and tenement buildings of New York City. After the experience was over and the baby was delivered healthy and alive, the rest of the policemen that were there with him responded to him by saying that they should have just pitched the baby in the trash. He was completely taken back by these remarks and stunned that they were not even viewed as people, more like garbage. This initial response by his colleagues led him to realize that things were going to be more tough than he first thought. Take a look at this great movie from the early 70s. It's a really good watch. You'll enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll continue to chase the classics.